Even if you don't create tutorials, I think you will find the audio tips from this video useful for whatever types of videos you create. I'm Dylan John, and let's hop into Fonica Pro and learn my secrets. As viewers, we subconsciously expect to hear something when we see something pop up on the screen. Unless you're hearing impaired, we would normally hear something that quickly moves by us, so the same should be applied for video editing, even if you're fabricating the sound. So when you find a sound that you think matches up with the visuals, here are the steps I would normally take. Take. I use this feature all the time. It is how you can solo select items. You can press this button or press the default keyboard shortcut option S. So you'll press this so you're not distracted by the dialogue, music, or other sound effects that you have going on in the mix. And this also allows you to line up that sound effect exactly how you want it. Then you can use period and comma to nudge that sound effect into place to make sure it's lined up with the sound. Now sometimes the sound may go on for too long when compared to what's going on on screen. The key is to ask yourself, how can I make this sound sound just like it would sound like in real life if a title came across your face? I realize that's silly, but you wouldn't hear a long drawn out whoosh after the title has stopped moving. So what I usually do is retime that sound to fit the visuals. Hit Command R and drag this right here till what you hear matches the duration of what you see. I think by default, Final Cut will preserve the pitch of the sound effect, meaning even though you're changing the duration, it won't sound higher or lower. If you do want the pitch to change, you just go in here and toggle this off. Let me pause real quick to tell you about a total gold mine of a service if you're creative. Today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Here is why a subscription with them is worth it. Envato Elements has 55 million assets that you can download. That is a number big enough to make your brain spin. It has Final Cut Pro and Motion 5 plugins like tons of different transitions, really cool animated templates, titles, and more. You can create better sound design with their large list of sound effects as well as royalty-free music. Download their stock videos and photos for whatever your creative mind can come up with and use their huge list of fonts and motion graphics for whatever you'd like. You can find everything on there and I mean everything. The best part is you can download as much as you want, unlimited downloads on all of their creative assets, and what's cool is that they offer a seven day free trial so you can see for yourself that it's worth it. Use the link in the description and you'll get 50% off when you select the annual subscription. Become a better creative and join the Envato Elements family. I know a lot of you probably get annoyed at how easy it is to blow past the volume that you want when dragging this up and down, but the trick is to hold command when you drag it up and down. It'll make much more minute adjustments after that. You can also press control, option, L, and that'll let you type in the exact decibel you want, then hit enter. Something I do a lot is change the pitch on sound effects by dragging the pitch effect onto them. I do this mainly if I just recently used that sound effect in the edit. Using the same sound effect all the time can be noticed by your viewers and can definitely become a distraction. So adding a bit of novelty back into that mix by lightly switching up the pitch of the same sound can help your viewer to stay more engaged in your video and not distracted by that repeating sound. The other thing I'll do often with my sound design in my tutorials is use the stereo left and right pan mode to make it sound like my sound is coming from a certain direction in the frame. So if I have a pop-up that comes from frame left and shows up in the middle, I'll head to the beginning of the sound effect, slide this to the far left, and hit the keyframe button. Then I'll find the point where the sound comes center frame and stops, and I'll drag the slider to the very center. Now our sound sounds like it's animated with the visuals. If you want to learn the ins and outs of cinematic sound design, check out this video right here, which actually may be one of my favorite tutorials I've ever made. It's over a year old, but I still, I still love it. Have a great day, guys.